Do you give any uh, a lot of thought to who their quarterback is going to be this week, or do you not try and think about that? Um. Yeah. No. Nah. I mean, for me, I'm thinking. You know, two is playing. You know, that's under. You know, our impression as a team. So, you know, that's that's the that's the thing. Two is their QB. <laughs> Short week, how's everyone feeling? What's the vibe coming? Yeah, of course, you know, <clears throat> Monday night game. Um, you know, Tuesdays are off day, so get get um, you know, get right on that, get your body right, rejuvenate, get ready for Wednesday. Um, you know, everybody's feeling real good, excited for another opportunity to play, you know, against a very good team. And um, you know, two day trip, so um, you know, just talking about resting, recovering, um, getting getting the film in there because you know you lose kind of a day so any any time or any way you can watch film um you know get those get those reps in mentally as well so um yeah just very excited a long flight three days after the game kind of change any recovery preparation or anything like that um no i would just say of course you're drinking more water uh, of course uh um you know Going to Miami, uh, a state that you know has it's pretty hot over there. A little bit of humidity over there, and um, you know, just drinking more water really is the biggest thing for us. Um, whether that also eating, having your protein, all those. Everybody's different. Me personally, I'm you know protein guy, um, and uh, you know drink a lot of water. How does this defense feel? Um, you know, you have 349 yards from Herbert on. Monday, but he didn't throw a touchdown pass. Yeah. And then in San Francisco, you allow them to get down to the, like, inside the 10 four times, but you guys stopped them all four times. How do you feel about this defense being kind of a bent but don't break units? Um, you know, if they get to the red zone for us, it's uh, just, you know, only giving up three, not giving up a touchdown. That's the main goal. You don't want them to get to the red zone, but if they do, only give them three. And, um, you know, just try to get the ball back to the offense. The more opportunities our offense gets, we feel like they'll, um, you know, have more opportunities to score. So for us, it's main goal is getting the, getting the ball back to the offense, whether that's zero points or three points. And, uh, you know, just going from there, taking it one play at a time, um, controlling what we can control, and, you know, that's it. On a play like Star made at the beginning of the game, going and knocking that ball loose, I'm curious, as a defender, when you go back and look at a play, and I'm not just talking about that one, but when something like that happens, are you are you super happy you made the play to get the ball back, or is there a party that's dwelling on the big play in the first place that put you in the position to have to go knock it out like that? Um, you know, personally, it's just kind of control what you can control. You know, execute the job at hand, and uh, if the job at hand hasn't been executed it's always a plus to you know get a turnover in that certain situation so you really don't want to have an explosive but if it happens getting a turnover you know means more than the explosive does so uh you know that's that's kind of how you approach it how would you grade james's punch out his force fumble oh i'll give it a 10 out of 10 uh, we talk about it all the time throughout meetings um defensive players uh, especially d linemen uh, don't really have the ball in their hands much, so trying to strip that ball out is definitely appropriate and a great, great job that he did, give the, the offense another opportunity to uh, go out there. So, um, you know, I give it a 10 out of 10. He has more force fumbles than me, so, you know, that's great. Does he get any grief given that later in the game somebody did it to him? I mean, he just did it. Wouldn't you, be able, wouldn't you say, hey, you shouldn't be more careful there? Yeah, no, nah, he didn't get any grief. Um, you know, he popped a good one. Uh, there's no one around. He didn't really see him and, you know, got him from behind. But, uh, of course, he might get a little grief from me. But other than that, you know, he, um, you know, I'm glad we won the game. By the way, how hard is it to do what Michael Wilson did? Just to fall, when, a, when a ball comes out, just to be able to fall at top speed and just get it in one. one yeah. Yeah, we, we talk about that all the time, you know, when you're on the field, offensive players as well, uh, whoever has the ball, you're sprinting to the ball because good things happen um, around the football. So great job of Michael to continue to run, continue to sprint and recover the ball because 
like you said, he gave an opportunity for the offense to go back out there. And also, if the defense would have got that, they would have been in the red zone. Um, so great, great hustle out of him. And, um, and I think he was probably, uh, he probably got like a, you know, what's that word when you fall on the ball? Like, a, you know, he was out of breath. So, uh, you know, he took play out, but he was good. So excited. Um, Garrett Williams has uh, made some plays, some acrobatic pick against Washington. He had a nice PBU that set up the drive where Kyler had the long run. Where has he grown the most in year two? Obviously, he had that injury last year. He got off to a late start in his career, but he seems to be on the right path. Yeah, Garrett's always been a smart guy. Um, you know, just for him, it's just being able to see it, being able to, you know, uh, you know, you see it when you're when he was injured, of course, but when you're on the field and have that feel for the game, um, he does a great job of that. Um, does a great job of uh, you know communicating. I communicate to him. He relays it back, and you know, try to give each other little details within the play call. Um, so he's very smart um, technician, guy who loves the game, and a guy who um, you know is a student of the game. He watches a lot of films, so you know. We worked that route concept in practice. You know, uh, PT, our DB coach, did a great job of, um, and our defensive coaches, Nick Gip, did a great job of uh, having us ready for, you know, those certain plays. So he did a great job. He executed his his assignment, and, you know, I think that was a third third down stop, so kick the field goal. Was it Tyreek had said that now that two is back, the offense for the Dolphins is back. Yeah. With his speed, does the approach in the secondary – change more than with, with most receivers in the NFL? Um, you know, we have our game plans, of course, with, you know, certain players. Um, he's definitely a premier player, so we understand where he is on the field. And, um, you know, with his other quarterbacks, then, of course, not really knowing the playbook as much is um, very difficult to make certain reads in that in that offense. But Tua does a great job of making the reads and getting the football out. So. You know, if I was a receiver for the Dolphins, I would say the same thing to have my number one QB back. So um, definitely excited for an opportunity to go against those guys and an opportunity to, you know, play in Miami. It's the first time for me personally playing. I've been in the league eight years. I've never played in Miami. So definitely excited to go against, um, you know, a really good team. What's it like for a defender when an offense uses as much motion as the Dolphins do? Yeah, I think they're the number one motion team in the league. Um, so just understanding the details of whatever our coverages is and coverages are and just understanding all the motions and what pre-snap we can call and what calls we'll have to make um, with what type of motion we'll get. You know, there's so many motions that I could say, you know, but you guys wouldn't understand. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we just make certain detailed calls within the certain motions that they have and just make sure everybody is uh, on one accord and, you know, just play football after that, execute our job. Fundamental part of this, is it distracting when there's so much motion or can you guys follow it all pretty well? Um, well, there, I mean, it's made to mess up rules for defenses, of course. Um, and, you know, they do a great job with those certain type of motions, but, um, you know, that's why we have. That's why we have a whole, you know, week to get ready to, um, you know, get ready for these motions and to watch the film and to, you know, execute whatever call we have. So, on Sunday, you know, we'll be ready. Does it resemble at all what McDaniel was doing in San Francisco during that short time? Um, you know, kind of. You know, not really. Um, 49ers personnel is different than, you know, Miami's personnel. So they have their similarities, but they also have their differences. And, uh, you know, you know, I'll that, that just keep it at that. Udo, you mentioned you've never been to that state again for played in Miami before. Is there, is there anything you change of your, like, pregame routine at a place you've never been, like testing the surface, or, or do you stay consistent with that wherever you yeah, I stay consistent with my pre-game pre -game routine. Um, you know, anywhere we play, what, even if it's at home, I'm uh, I'm there. You know, three hours before the game, and I'm getting my body right, going on the field. You know, working out my my certain techniques, and you know, getting my speed ready to go out to our real pregame. So it's the same same exact routine for me. Um, so yeah. I hate to keep asking this, uh, but your name keeps coming up with the trade deadline approaching. Do you even think about it, or are you just 
push it to the side. Yeah, personally, I just be where my feet are, push it to the side. Um, excited to go against the Miami Dolphins, and I don't really see the the trade stuff because um, I'm not heavily on social media. So, um, you know, you might get might open my phone up and get a random fan saying to come to the team, but you know, <laughs> like for me, it's like I'm I'm here. I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, I'm just ready to, you know, grind throughout this week, grind throughout this process, and then play on Sunday and, uh, you know, try and get a W. Uh, just thoughts on losing uh, Gardeck and, and how confident are you in that room to really pick up the pieces moving forward? Yeah, you know, Gardeck's my guy. Um, you know, he sits next to me in our defensive meeting, so, of course, it's a huge loss for us, but it's next man up mentality. Um, another, you know, have other players that have opportunity to, um, you know, be on the field. So excited for those guys. Um, the standard's the standard. We understand that, and, you know, we're going to grind and work throughout the week, live in the present, and on Sunday we're going to, you know, we're going to have 11 on the field that's ready for for a football game.